Well, wrestling fans, here we are with the next battle here. The Lumberjack Abe taking on the up-and-coming young gentleman in Chase King. And, Tim, i got to tell you, the couple times I've seen Chase King, he's really been making a mark for himself. You know, him and his identical twin brother, Chance King, these guys looking very impressive since that open door policy. We've added a bunch of young stars, the King brothers representative of that, but he's in there with one tough customer talking about one half of the Missouri and Illinois Tag Team Champions in the Lumberjack. He's a big, big athlete to deal with. Well, and there's no doubt the Lumberjacks have been around a long time, and they are the Tag Team Champions here. And young Chase King is probably going to get a lesson here tonight from Abe the Lumberjack. Tim, I want to go back just a minute. September the 25th, two big things on those shows on the same day. The 1 o'clock show at Hillsdale, Missouri, outside on Jesse Jackson Boulevard, right there by City Hall. That is a free show, open to the public, no admission charge. Come out, have a good time, bring your lawn chair. And also, special guest appearance by none other than our good friend, Cowboy Bob Orton. He'll be there that afternoon. Later that night, we'll be back over in Fairmont City, Illinois. Back over at the Holy Rosary Gymnasium. And that's for the Fairmont City Police Athletic League. We were there last year. They enjoyed it so much, they've asked us to come back. Cowboy Bob Orton will also be there with us that evening in Fairmont City. Unbelievable, fans. You don't want to miss any of the big shows heading your way. MMWA SICW on tour. Keep up to date on your local cable channel. In Missouri, it's 981. Fans, in Illinois, it's channel 18 on all of your local access channels. And then again, online, www.mmwasicw.com. That's where you want to go to find out all the latest news, information, bios, pictures, everything you want to know about what's happening here in the MMWA and the SICW Herb. And there is a lot happening. A lot happening. And right back here on Saturday night, October the 9th at South Broadway Athletic Club. Don't forget, get out that Halloween costume contest. There's going to be prizes awarded for the best costume. We'll probably see somebody coming in dressed up like Hulk Hogan or somebody like that. You know, I was on the phone with Keith Smith, our commissioner, earlier, who's away on assignment, and he told me he might come next month as Elvis. Well, he could pass as Elvis. I, I really think he could. And Keith, he's off on assignment. Tony Costa's always sending us off on assignment somewhere. I think in his case, sometimes it's a vacation. You know, Keith does take a lot of vacations. I really didn't want to go there. You know, Tony actually sprang one time. You know, I've been here for two decades, Herb. We went on vacation to Las Vegas, you know, and then we had to haggle over who was going to pay for the steak meal. But Keith Smith, he gets five, six vacations a year. I don't understand it. What do you think about that, boss? Well, they were, when we were in Las Vegas, I couldn't shake any of them. They were all after me. Money, 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 money. And they know I don't dish out money, but they were after me for money, money, money. You only dished that money out to one person, right? And she was probably with you. And she's pulling the handle. <laughs> Well, right now we're watching Abe the, Lumber, Abe the Lumberjack, and now on the outside, Andy the Lumberjack. You never see these two apart usually, and he's working on Chase King. Five minutes down, five minutes to pass. Chase King being worked on inside, outside the ring as he crawls back in. This is a one fall with a 15-minute time limit. And, Tim, I tell you, the likes of the Gary Jackson... We don't know where he's at from one night to another. Uh, I don't know if he knows where he's at, but I'm sure we're going to hear from him between now and next week because he was really upset last month. He was upset with Ben because he didn't call him gorgeous, Gary Jackson. But he thought that we screwed him royally by giving Danny Boy a shot at that title next week. You know, I don't want to get into the politics of any of it. You know, I do have my own opinion on the subject, but I will say this. We're going to have one heck of a main event next week. And Danny Boy, he may become the next Missouri and Illinois heavyweight champion. Well, whichever way it may happen, that's what you got to be. Triple main event next Saturday night over in East Condolette, Illinois at the Community Center. Come out and be a part of it. Tony Costa's already got a great card lined up for there. Triple main event. You're going to see the future there in action going against Chris Hargis who was on the opposite side of a tag match last outing. And you're going to see the big barn burner, the big Texan, a big, big man himself going against a big wild man in Ron Powers. 
the Texan, seven foot tall, 300 plus pounds, an explosive force. Indeed, the masked man hiding his identity for whatever reason he may have, but he's taking on a legendary force in his own right. Multiple time Missouri and Illinois heavyweight champion Ron Powers, and Ron, as you know, is quick to lose control. It should be one heck of a main event, one of three main events. Triple main event, but then right back here on Saturday night, October 9th. I can't wait for that. I love the Halloween contest. I'll tell you. The people come in dressed up like Lady Gaga and you name it, Madonna. They'll all be here. They may come in looking like Tony Costa. Well, I'm going to dress up, but I'm not going to tell nobody who I am, and I'm going to walk around and be in the contest and see if, if I can win it. Well, and as lucky as he is, Tim Miller, he'll probably win it. Tony is pretty lucky. I'll tell you what, I've seen this guy slot machines, ching, ching, bing, bing, lights, action, this guy, he wins at the card table. He wins lottos, raffles. Very lucky. Well, there's, I don't know if it's so much him. I think it's his lovely wife. I think she's the lucky one. He just drags along. You know, my luck, I can't even get lucky with the wife anymore, Herb. This guy has all the luck. I'm telling you. And there you see the Lumberjack tossing in Chase King into the corner. Catches him out of bear hug. And boy, oh boy, now he runs him right back into the corner. Chase King being worked on by Abe the Lumberjack in this one fall 15 minute time limit. And Tim, as we've said, oh, nobody home that time and Abe ends up outside. Oh, now wait a minute. Andy's up on the ring apron. Chase King taking care of him. But now wait a minute, this young man's going outside. And the fans, they're going crazy. They're on their feet. King, he's up top. The youngster, he's gonna fly. Oh! He caught him coming across. He hooks the leg. One. No, only a count of one. What an upset that would be. Chase King, but now he's going back out on the ring apron again. And he goes over. Lands right on. He's taking on both of the Lumberjacks. And that's what he's got to do. Neutralize that extra element. Take out the Lumberjack on the floor. Concentrate your efforts on the other one. King having a big opportunity. Oh, but stop. Got a little anxious there. The Lumberjack put that big boot up. Takes him from the corner, whips him off. Catches him, oh, big clothesline and King goes down to the canvas. Taking the momentum out of him. I thought he had it going there. 10 minutes down, there are five minutes remaining. Habe, the Lumberjack, continues to work on him. The young man in a fight of his life here tonight at South Broadway, just as he will be probably on Saturday night, October the 9th, when wrestling returns here. Whoa, wait a minute, he's caught in the middle of him, Tim. You know, and that's the tactics, the double team stuff, the Lumberjacks, the roll up and all, oh, he got oh, just that quick. He got him from behind in that cradle. One, two, three. 